أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أشهد الله إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله رب شرح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته So my dear sisters, we're on day eight Subhanallah, the days seem to merge into the nights but please bear with me um, so today's name um, is Al-Aziz. Allah calls himself Al-Aziz, the Almighty, the Strong, on 92 occasions. Subhanallah. He is the one who overcomes everything. He overcomes everything. Al-Aziz is the incomparable source of all strength and might. And his power cannot be overcome or resisted. He gives honor, dignity and strength to whomever he wills. Subhanallah. The root of Aziz comes from Ain Zay Zay, which points to four main meanings, which really encompasses what this name is truly means. So the first is mighty and powerful. The second is to be noble and elevated. The third is to be invincible. And the fourth is to be rare and unattainable. Now there are seven derived forms of the word Aziz and examples of these forms mean um, he overpowered or uh, an honor and so on and so forth. So there are many derivatives of um, coming from these root letters. Now I have a few reflections today that I'd like to share with you. And what I first want to say is this name of Allah refers to the power of his that cannot be overcome. I mean, how many people have power but misuse it or think that they have this power somehow forever and it will never go away? And yet seeing patients grow older and weaker and more frail, you know, you often wonder how people think that they're going to remain strong and mighty for all their lives, you know? And what's amazing about Allah, Al-Aziz, is that in the Quran, it's commonly paired with um, a few other attributes. So two of these combinations, the first is the combination of Al-Aziz Al-Hakim, the Almighty, the All-Wise. And this appears 47 times in the Quran. That he has power, he has strength, he is the Almighty. And he uses it with perfect wisdom. SubhanAllah. Allah also uses Al-Aziz Al-Rahim the Almighty, the Merciful. So against the disbelievers, he is mighty and he is especially merciful to the believers striving on his path. So my sisters, how can we live by this name? Seek your strength from Al-Aziz. Having faith in Al-Aziz gives you courage because you know your Lord is unbeatable. In fact, he's invincible. When you feel weak or overpowered, turn to Al-Aziz for strength. One of the duas which is encouraged for us to read is Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-hammi wal-hazn wa'udhu bika min al-ajzi wal-kasl wa'udhu bika min al Bukhli wal Jubn. 
وأعوذ بك من غلبة الدين وقهر الرجال. Now that dua is a dua for grief and sadness, for weakness and laziness. But at the end, you're making dua and seeking Allah's protection from being overpowered by men, meaning by other, being overpowered by others. SubhanAllah, really powerful dua related in Al-Bukhari to be read once in the morning and once in the evening. The second thing is know that your izza, your honor is in Islam. Allah says in Surah Fatir, ayah number 10, as related in the tafsir by Muhsin Khan, whosoever desires honor, power and glory, then to Allah belong all honor, power and glory. And one can get honor, power and glory only by obeying and worshipping Allah alone. To him ascend all the goodly words and the righteous deeds exalted. The goodly words, i.e. the goodly words, are not accepted by Allah unless and until they are followed by good deeds. But those who plot evils, theirs will be a severe torment and the plotting of such will perish. So don't for one minute, sisters, think that someone dishonoring you means you are dishonored. Right? Those two are different things. Someone behaving in a way that is seeking to dishonor you does not mean you are dishonored. Because our honor comes from Allah Al-Aziz. Think about Firaun and how he overpowered his nations and how he overpowered and tormented his wife. And yet we all know the position of his wife and we know his position. SubhanAllah. Now that leads me on to point number three, that power doesn't mean honor. Always use your own power or authority in an honourable way. And sometimes this is really hard for us to do, you know, especially over our children or maybe our spouse, for example. You know, we misuse our power sometimes. And we use it in a way that we're not pleased with because we know inherently it's not an honourable way to use our authority and our power. Train yourself to have strength, to resist desires by reminding yourself of the wisdom of Al-Aziz, who uses his power with wisdom. And finally, honour trusts. You can even earn Allah's protection from the fire by defending someone's honour. You know, the Prophet ﷺ said in At-Tirmidhi, whoever defends the honor of his brother, then Allah will protect his face from the hellfire on the day of resurrection. SubhanAllah. Your relationships with others are a tr trust, are an amana from Al-Aziz. And you should honor each trust you are given in your dealings with others as well as not just others, but your own self. Honor yourself. Honor your own body. Honor your speech, right? Make sure you're using honorable speech and honor your Iman. Allah is the most honored and noble and therefore he loves us to be honorable. So honor the people that pass through your life. Honor your body, look after it, treat it well. Honor yourself, respect yourself and honor the fact that Allah has guided you to believe. Now, one final thing to mention 
about understanding the word al aziz uh, um understanding the word aziz and the attribute of aziz is that allah al aziz calls the quran aziz because it is his speech subhanallah allah says allah says in surah fussilat ayah number 41 he says, وَإِنَّهُ لَكِتَابٌ عَزِيزٌ Subhanallah. The Quran contains everything you need to succeed in life. Because it comes from our Creator. It is our manual. You want power and honor? Learn the Quran and live by the Quran. And that's a reminder for myself first and foremost. We have to remember that this will increase us in nobility and elevate our ranks because it is the word of Allah Al Aziz, the noble and elevated. Subhanallah. So, on that note, my sisters, I pray that you reflect on this powerful name, Al Aziz. For now, I will end. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh